front looks good. You gotta check that one out in person. That one's I had pictures. Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Royce from Palmetto. Welcome to my channel. Tonight's video, which I believe is 499, somewhere around there. It's pretty wild. I can't even believe I'm getting close to 500 videos over five years time or whatever it's been. Uh, tonight we're gonna be doing another one. He's opening up an Amazon 50 pack of Hot Wheels. These are really pretty, I think they're pretty cool for 40. They used to be like 45 bucks. I think they're a little more than that now. I think I paid 48 or so for this one. And I will have a link down below, and I believe inside my um, Amazon affiliate links, everything will be down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. I usually have pretty good luck. I've, some other people reported that they didn't have really good luck with these, but we're going to see what's uh, doing with this one and check it out. We'll get started right now. Usually every time I get one of these, I believe the box design is a little different, I think. Not sure if I have that one or not. So we'll go ahead here and take a look. So this is how they're packaged. And the cool thing about these, at least I think they're cool, considering they're kind of rare in the United States. For some of you guys have never even come across them. I only have a few times in, I think, like Dollar Tree. Uh, these are short cards. So that's pretty darn rare to find here in America. We just don't see them very often. All right, we'll start with Cosmic Coop. So it's meant for uh, track, but it looks like 90% of this car is plastic. It really doesn't weigh anything. I'm kind of curious to, to see what is even metal on this. The base doesn't appear to be metal. It's really strange, but it looks to me like it's almost all plastic. So it's a fantasy. Fantasy one, of course. Uh, next up is really cool to see in short car, the Corvette C8R really looks good in, in the short card. I mean, that looks cool. So that's a keeper there in itself, I think. Really, really awesome to see that. And we have a big Air Bel Air. Short card, of course. I don't know why I've said that again when you can obviously see that's right here in front of me. Uh, this is in the red with the brown tires. It actually looks pretty, pretty good. I'll try to go quick with this because now I can see already there's a few duplicates in here. Uh, slide kick, and this is another one that appears to me to be 90 some percent plastic. Fantasy one, I, I can't get into that one at all. It doesn't do anything for me. Oh, I guess it's uh, uh, that piece slides out, the rig on the side. You can see the driver there. I guess that slides out. Kind of interesting, like a sidecar thing. Here we have a 64 Corvette Stingray. I think that looks really nice in the white with the gray uh, basket weave wheels. Looks pretty cool. Three Corvettes in a row almost. Uh, 19 Corvette ZR1 convertible, white with black stripes, black PR5 wheels with the red halos. Pretty cool. There's another one, so I'm just going to pull that out at the same time. We got uh, two of them right away. It's pretty good. It's like a carbon pattern, it looks like on the scoop. 2017 Camaro ZL1 in orange. That looks pretty good. Black, all over black PR5s. I th guess that's the only one like that in here. Rigger motor and some wild uh, the art car series colors some wicked uh, pink pipes and <laughs> my daughter might actually like that one it's pretty pretty wild huh Ooh, then we have the dark green 96 Porsche 993 Carrera looks pretty wild in that green with the white meatball on the side Cosmic Coupe was another one, right? Yeah, we have, so there's two of them. There's another Cosmic Coupe. We'll stick that over there with that. Uh, the Eric Stein Rod. Did I say that right? Eric Stein Rod. It's pretty cool. That's a real, I believe that's a real vehicle too in California. Pretty sure. 
kind of like a dark military greenish gray color. It's pretty wicked. 2018 Bentley Continental GT3 in the British Racing Green, which looks great with uh, some white spears. Really looks good. That might be my favorite color so far in that. That looks great. Here's another one, I think, right here. Yeah, there's another one, so I'm just going to pull that out right away. La Traca. Looks great in our car series. Black with the gold stripes. Has an H on the roof. Uh, I believe they spell out Hot Wheels if you collect all of them. I think that's the key to this. That one looks good. Gold base. Really looks cool. I have a long card of that one. Eruption. Which the wings, I believe, yeah, the wings pop out on this fantasy car slash airplane contraption. Pretty wild looking. It's like a mint green color different so if you like fantasy castings that's one thing with these amazon boxes uh you get you get plenty of them as well as the uh licensed vehicle this is a nice one too i have a long car this custom 18 ford mustang gt formula drift vehicle this one looks really good i i actually like this one a lot to me it almost looks more like a premium when you look at it looks great Roof scoop on it. Really cool. This one's kind of heavy. Uh, the Ford Transit Connect Pizza Delivery Vehicle. Well, this was not the pizza one, right? What's it say on it? I can't even read what that says on the side of it. My eyes are that bad, but you get the idea. Oh, uh, this is cool. I've never even found a long car to this uh Guster the uh, Bel Air gasser in the store. Uh, I have a feeling that this short card one actually could end up being worth some money down you know the road. A lot of people that collect the gasser stuff go crazy, crazy over the short card gassers. Um, I actually don't think it looks as bad as what people ripped on bad on Instagram stuff. And I think it is kind of getting long in the tooth, uh, the you know the casting and all the different variants. But it looks pretty cool, especially when people are doing wheel swaps on. Looks good. 70 Dodge Power Wagon Orange with the chrome blue uh, beadlock style wheels. Looks pretty wicked. Pull out, there's a second one here. I saw it right away. I like the colors on the side. The light blue and the white and the black works well with the orange. That's, that's interesting. Not bad, not bad. I don't know if I think I have that in a long card. I have so many different ones of that. They made a bunch of colors in that. Um, this is cool to have in the short card, the Nissan R390 GT1. And as far as I know, there was only one of those real cars in existence. Because I had to look it up. I, I got to be honest with you. I'm not a huge JDM fan. I do like them and I appreciate them, but I'm not up on everything with them. But this car, they only ever made one concept car that I believe um, and the recolor is out already on it, and it's in red. And I think I just saw another one here. So we got two, which is cool. Two in the box. We got a 2020 Koenigsegg Jesko. Is that how you say that? And the gray with the acid green type of uh, green accents. Really looks cool. Looks good. I was thinking I saw two of those in here. Maybe not. Um, this is the 2020 Jaguar F-Type. Looks great in this gray color. Looks really nice. I have the long card version of this. And I think I have all three colors. I think they made three colors in this so far. Three colors. I know two. Two. And I have two or three they made. There's another one right here. I can see it. So I'm going to pull that out right away. There's another one. The paint job is like phenomenal in this thing. What I liked about this one and impressed me in the store right away was the front and back tampos. If I can get my fingers turned around. It's so it's opposite always on the lens and I always get confused on that. You think after five years of doing this I wouldn't get confused but uh, the front looks great. You got to check that one out in person. That one's, I had pictures of it on my Instagram. Uh, I thought that was really cool. 
All right, so this is another one that's eluded me in this color in the store, 98 Subaru Impreza 22 BSTI version. And it's like a dark bluish black, almost like a midnight blue color. That looks pretty cool. And that's got front and rear, front and rear tampos on. It looks great. That, that's a keeper, that one. That's really nice. Uh, there's two of these in the box because I just saw the other 89 Porsche 944 Turbo. Uh, this is in a matte blue color. And a Magnus Walker uh, Urban Outlaw Series, which is kind of, some of this is getting a little long in the tooth, I believe, as well, if you, if you want my opinion on it. But uh, it doesn't mean anything, in my opinion. If there's another one there. We'll pull that out, get that off to the side. I'm just getting tiring holding the box up, but uh, this is a nice one too. I just saw long long card in this yesterday. I didn't pick it up, and I probably should have because I think it looks great. The 2017 Acura NSX looks great red. Uh, I just saw a real one on the road the other day, a black one, um, trucking along in the left lane of the highway. It looked really cool. It's a nice looking car. Next up, we have Buns of Steel, and this is like a purple color. Nothing special there with that. Uh, the T-Rex Troyer. Another one that appears to me to be 90% plastic. It doesn't even weigh anything. Another unlicensed vehicle, the Davin Kinnisenator. I don't even know what that is. The Davinisonator. I never even heard of that one. Never seen this before in my life. Have no idea. Never seen it. And it goes to show you some of these. I don't really look at them in the store. Some of them they do. There's a few that are pretty cool. All right. So a total disposal and a new color. I think I have the orange and yellow. I believe they had. And I think they had the bright blue. And now they have this bright green. Looks pretty nice. Uh, another art car, and this is a road bandit, which is kind of like the, a school, a school cool bus or whatever you want to call it. Pretty cool. Uh, another unlicensed vehicle, Ford Force. I don't remember ever seeing that in a store. Another one that feels like it's 90% plastic. I don't even think that base, uh, the base, I think the base is metal on this one. I could swear some of the other ones I looked at were not metal though. Uh, all these, if you guys are ever curious what I do with all these when I'm done with them, I donate all these to the uh, local children's hospital, and that's where they go. I pull out a couple of the ones that I like, like the unlicensed short cards, but all the rest, probably pretty much 95% of them I end up giving away to children in the neighborhood or to the local hospital. Uh, this one's Robo Race Robo Car, and I guess it's licensed of some sort. I got something written here, so I don't know what that... If that's electric race team or what that is. Uh, quad rod. And that is in a purple color. This one's all bent up there. I don't know what happened there with that. Oh. Is that, how you pronounce that? Raging Express. I do have a long version of that, the long card. And this one actually took me a while to find. Everybody else found it right away, but I. It took me forever to find it, and I think the only the base is metal on that. Everything else is plastic, but it's a shame here that the card's screwed up on it. But that one's pretty cool for, I think that's fictional, obviously. Uh, Grand Cross in a new color. The other last one I think was green. This is like a, a reddish burgundy with orange wheels and tires. Uh, Track Star Series. That's my alarm to go pick my daughter up. I'll be right back. All right, so next up we have Mad Props. I really like the colors of this one. I had seen this on Long Card in the store. This red with the white and the black looks really good. I'm not sure what S plus R means on there, but really looks cool. Um, I know my daughter has, I think, a, the green one. I think it's green and orange. It's pretty cool. I think I would have liked this one a lot as a kid. That one's cool. All right, Triumph TR6. Beautiful. Uh, like a candy apple red or like a burgundy color, I guess you want to say. 
number 54 on it. That one looks really good. Two racing stripes. That looks good. Ah, another one with the card all screwed up. But anyway, it's another Acura Nissan NSX. That's kind of cool to see. It's a shame the card's bent. Another Road Bandit. Is that the same as the other one I looked at? I think it is, right? Yeah. Another Road Bandit school bus thing. Another Ford Force. Purple plastic. A lot of a lot of fancy ones here. The Tankinator in orange. They had so many different colors of this. I have the uh, found the, the regular Treasure Hunt version a couple years ago in it. Not a big deal. I uh, just found the long car of this actually yesterday at Target. And the white I thought looked pretty nice. Lamborghini Urus. I think that looks looks good. The, the front and the back and everything looks good on it. It's kind of cool to have a short car version. Here we have two two together, which is unusual in the set. Arachnodo, Arachnoido, I don't know what the hell you say that, Arachnorod, Arachnorod, that's what it is, Arachnorod. Pretty wild, the colors and stuff on that. And last but not least, we have, of course, you got to have a Zombot or whatever in here, which would, oh my god, just dropped, which, of course, when that came out was because of like transformers and stuff like that i think this came out in like 85 or 86 or something the original version oh you know it's funny though here it says rock'em sock'em robots which mattel of course owns that rights to that game so now they're trying to make it like i guess it's a one of the boxing guys in the game i don't know makes no sense to me but whatever all right so there you go that was all i hope you guys liked that i believe that was video 499 one more video and for the 500th video is going to be pretty wild it's going to be pretty extensive all on the uh, porsche 917 um and all the versions of hot wheels ever made of the porsche 917 so please stick around for that if you like this type of video be sure to give me a like share subscribe all that good stuff if you're not a subscriber please consider it's free and can be free and hit the bell for notifications and i will see you guys next time <laughs> all right have a good night see you guys later and be sure to watch out for the uh, video announcing the sweepstakes for the 10,000 subscriber uh, celebration. And this is crazy, all these Hot Wheels laid out here. But I will put them back away and probably give most 90-some percent of them away to kids in the neighborhood and the local hospital. So I will see you guys soon. You guys have a good night. All right. Bye now.